hello there uh, welcome to new video uh, in this video we will basically clean our data set and uh, we will explore our data set first of all then uh, we have to do some cleaning using pandas and uh, here you will see and most probably you will learn something new so we have a data set related to mobiles so it's on redmi 6 basically data set is related to redmi 6 mobile and there are the reviews of the customers related to this mobile so let's jump into the jupyter notebook and let's get started okay so guys now we are on our um, mac uh, jupyter notebook so here um, first of all you can find link in the description you will find something like github something like this maybe uh, i for now i don't uh, i didn't create any repository but you will find a link uh, to the source code which you will probably find in these repositories here all right so jump into that and download that repository and uh, after unzipping that um, what do you say repository or a zip file you will see probably these files data cleaning and redmi 6 all right so basically we have a data set with the redmi which is which is a redmi 6 data it's a mobile name now let's search quickly uh, redmi 6 redmi xiaomi i don't know how to pr pronounce it xiaomi redmi 6 all right it's a mobile all right so we have a data set of this mobile redmi 6 and uh, now we will check and look at this like how this data set looks like so let's get started so first of all let's import our pandas as pd then we need to read uh, maybe let me check first what is the extension of this okay so we can see that it's extension of csv so we need to read as a csv pd dot read csv now let's now let's find uh pass this over here so basically what this exclamation mark does it basically uh, runs this cell as a shell command all right so you can also write your shell commands in these codes here in code snippets here but the condition is like you have to put exclamation mark at the start all right so now let's call this as data frame and let's have a look at our data frame okay so it threw an error and let check an error what it says no such file at directory data cleaning uh oh sorry 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 because it these are two files and we need to pass this all right it uh, gave us the error again and at this time it's saying that utf codec can't decode byte in position invalid start byte let's set it out mm, maybe we find i already just just before this video i already search this so i got and uh, many solutions here the solution is to use this one here all right so um, just pause this as here and let's run this again yes now we can look at our head of our data set so we can see that this something looks like this so here we have a so useful column comments column date category ratings custom and re review title all right so um, let us so basically we can see that we have a missing value here and um, rishi kumar thakur all right and we can see that we have some uh what do you say slash and line breakers here basically line breakers denoted by this so that's why i'm saying that and let's have a look at our data set in like big way so we can see here that we have slash n we have nn values and like we need to clean our data set all right so we need to do something like here we can see that uh we have four out of five ratings but here everywhere you will see that there would be a ratings out of five 
and so basically it makes sense to just get rid of these in all of the values and just uh, like keep here the numbers the rating all right so here in date column we will convert this to the pandas date time and uh, here it seems cool and here commands we are getting something like this slash n and slash n in useful column we are seeing the empty values the none values and uh, seven people found this helpful two people found <coughs> basically these are the useless in these so we just need to write seven two six uh, directly here all right so we just need to do these screening here so you we can also see the space here we need to remove the space here because we can't use a query function if we like use this case uh, space here all right so first of all let's mm, first of all let's check our let's get the info of our data set we can see that the type of every data set is object and we can see the total number of rows are 280 and uh, here in the useful column there are 110 rows non null rows and uh, remaining are like null so we have a null values in this column all right and we can also see that uh, the pandas is now detecting this space as a empty as a like uh, as a none value so let's try to specify here sorry n a values but you say n a values right maybe it would work let's try if no it's not working so basically we can't take this i think uh, maybe give some space yes now it worked okay okay so basically there was a space so now it detected and pointed this as a non value all right cool um okay so rerun this one again so basically just delete this one from here for now and uh, just look at our data set here now we have only 71 nonal values all right um so let's run the describe function here so we have a count for every column unique values so we have a 100 unique values in these columns 280 in these columns 5 in these columns 17 in these okay so 11 in this column so we have a more unique values in this customer name okay okay so we have a top this and frequency of this okay all right so basically object here representing the string so basically we don't need to convert uh, we don't need to do data pre-processing here all right because uh, all donates almost string so it's okay all right so data type is okay for all of these however let's start with this uh, with these what you say columns so let's uh, clean the co clean our columns so let's first of all um, run the root here sorry call for call in df dot c o l u m n s columns so here what we want so basically here we want uh, to remove the space from left or right because uh, sometimes there is a space all right mostly there is a space so we need to clean this so first of all we are going to strip all right, so it will going to strip the spaces, uh, white spaces from the left or right of the uh, string, but it from the start and the last of the string. Okay, uh, and we want to like uh, give our name, our like uh, underscore here. It would benefit when we will use a query function on data frames. So uh, we also need to like uh, lower this and lower it would look good and uh, after these we just going to i'm going to just split this string on the space and then <clears throat> and then i'm sorry for this and i'm now going to join this on the maybe what you say uh 
yes underscore all right i'm going to join this underscore so let's have a check first of all just don't assign directly perhaps you have a comma all right maybe the, no not this yes okay now it works now we can see at our column names we have a review title customer name okay rating date category commands is all right all right it's good now let's assign to our columns here okay so let's have a look at our now we can see that we have a nicer uh, column names but it's on the like priorities somebody can like uh, take the first letter always upper but in my case uh, both works maybe both lower or but always uh, apply underscore between the words because it would benefit when we will gonna apply when we'll gonna apply the apply function or our data frame all right so now we just uh, clean our columns here now look now let's have a look at our review title column here uh, let's have a look at unique values because we know the number of unique values are in this column where they are described yes so in review title we had a we have a review uh, re unique values of 198 all right so we just don't need to check this here again you want to check again by using an unique so it would tell you that there are 198 unique values so let's now look have a unique value so we would like um check how uh, if we need to clear in this column so just have a look another okay i would like uh, going to read this so by doing this uh, i would came to know like if we need some training on this or not so here it says another mid gain killer smartphone with me smart value for large not worth uh, some product 8 october yes here we can see that we have we need to clean something like this we have 8 october i don't know what it says it's a review title all right so my six pro review best phone you can get in this and within 2k budget super phone good for performance nice awesome fully satisfied okay so we something have good review and something like we have no dual water product is good nice phone best phone okay look some other options guys it's just a crap okay turned out amazing to be worth and overall nice satisfied hitting wonderful mobile num mobile uh, sorry full mobile 99 display customer problem nice mobile don't uh mi is the best phone it's a okay phone did me um okay so i just went through all of these but here sometime like i saw okay so basically just let's jump on to the chat gpd and maybe it would should suggest something better so let's write here i have uh what do you say here the column i have a review column in data set and i want and i want to clean this and what i can say here is um, maybe i want only the good and bad only the good word and drop other than that so basically i want to remove all of the reviews um so not all of the reviews which that reviews which makes no sense all right like this eight or two but this makes no sense here so I have a review column so i wrote here i have a new review column in reset and i want to clean this i want only the good and bad reviews and drop and uh, i want i don't uh, want those um, data which makes no sense 
so how to achieve this so let's see what chat gpt tells us if you don't know tell chat gpt so basically it's a very amazing tool um so basically i will suggest you to come to chat gpt and ask a question here it's like a professor it will teach you and okay what it is saying here is remove non text characters start by removing anti character as special numbers and pressure learn to convert all the text to the lower case to consistent text and conversion um uh, i am using pandas and can you provide uh me some code or whatever so basically it's saying that it's applying a regex here and it's saying that uh, it's it's replacing here every uh, other than small a to z capital a to z and spaces with these all right so here what he is saying he is basically splitting that text and he is taking the words a word in word if word not in words or words all right so basically it it's taking okay so here we have a spell checker we have all of these things we have a word spell check and correct words all right so here we are like checking the spell and then correcting the word streaming using quarter words join the clean works back into a string clean text is equal to this return clean text apply the clean text function to the review column display the clean fall uh clean data frames all right so basically we can do this uh it's kind of uh string manipulation but uh this video is not related to that uh we would um uh, like uh, cover this topic later in the videos uh, maybe some other video so you can use this code in a bit and for this you need to have these uh, libraries okay so no problem we can um uh like let's try it together no problem here because there are many ways to clean and it's uh, maybe a separate field yes it's a separate field basically um let me open a new window here pip3 install what are the libraries here so okay, from this then we have this one here then we have a uh, spell checker all right now you spell checker okay so pip3 will install these and uh, yes i already have pandas so let's couldn't match a fine when the fetish as a requirement entity corps okay how to install these libraries so let's check so basically here if we see these it's just uh streaming using folder streamer i don't know what is uh let's ask the chat gpt what is this what is um no purpose of using this so from the nature is the tool for streaming what is streaming that is process that reduces word to the root or base from the purpose of using the with the mistress and that word so that so that different variations of the same word are treated as a equivalent use similar tool streaming reducing words to the common root this is a which is the variation of word and running are treated as the same word making it is it will learn complete okay okay all right so it's do like that stuff okay so for now we just um okay so let's go through quickly if you like want to see this uh maybe i need to stall pip no sorry pip three stall and nltk and i hope it would stall yes also it stalled uh pip3 install py spell checker and pandas okay i already have pandas so let's just do pip3 install and uh, now just uh, run that code snippet and let's just check what happens here we will copy that and here in our jupyter notebook i will paste that code here here we are already importing this okay we need to still import this 
and here what we are doing here is uh, we are applying okay so we are applying we need to apply this one column here view title here and let's first of all check what it prints all right so uh, let's uh, what do you say so basically print this out for now and let's check what it does source towards what it's saying attempted to load copper towards for more search in this source towards not from please use analytic downloader to open the source let's pass this to chat gpt and let's see what it says um this was towards not found indicated indicated blah blah don't it is towards okay okay so we need to stall the data set and let us stop where it is okay no problem so let's so now let's so let's so let's stop uh so sorry let's download that address set okay so it's download it downloaded that data set now let's rerun this uh what is the error now now the error is different none the object has no attribute lower all right all right so basically we have a non line values here too in this column because we got this error here so just uh, go ahead and first of all i want to see my column names columns okay so we just need to check if um df what you say is an a um is an a so how we can see if okay so let's follow the diagram here and is there any function on it okay so any for there are no no object has no attribute lower so why it's saying that um because there are no any values here okay so we can see here that we have no any values here um uh, if we do all all right so there are no any values here and uh, here what did now for then why he is saying non type object has to be lower word or lower let's check the code here no let's pass this to chat gpt and let's see what because the code is written by chat gpt and he would tell us like oh sorry maybe he produced some wrong code so another case when the variable is null so basically yes i i was i was saying like if there we have any any values but i didn't see any any values when i applied that function here so what we can do here uh maybe no so none time object has no attribute lower okay so it's saying on the word dot lower and where is word dot lower word dot lower okay so basically for uh the uh any value but we can see here we can apply that code here if if the value no so we can write our own if the if the text is none then what we want uh we want return the simple if the text is not none so we will move for forward below proceed to below none object has no attribute lower so let's explore this error message more um stammered dot stammered so here it's produce producing an error so here let's try so here words so here we have a words here so here we can see that it gave us error here right so now let's first of all print what it prints there 
um you have to be lower where we are using word or lower i need to see this so basically the handling is not good here i think um so let's first of all print print our words here so we can see that it's printed all the words very nicely and it has no attribute all right so let's move on to the next step here let's check now so here here we can see that here we have a none values in our array all right so we need to clean this or finally we grabbed the error here so we have a none values here uh, none here so basically we need to clean the none from here so it's very simple now what we will do is um we will filter we will apply the filter and here we will pass our lambda function here don't worry if this is complex or something i will explain this if uh return empty string all right if x is none else uh x all right here we will going to pass our words and here we will something do like this and here we will pass a function to this so basically what we are doing here is uh, i pass this words to this filter function here and i pass a one liner function here which is a lambda function and we and people also or people why i am saying people so basically this is an anonymous function too and uh, so here we are taking x which is coming from these words one by one and i am returning uh, empty strings if x uh, if x is none so in any so if x is none i am returning the, returning the empty string otherwise i am returning the x whatever is given so let's try now yes now it worked i think yes it worked it worked anoth mager killer scrapful display work value camera unlock support phone me best phone okay phone demi phone okay so now what we can do is um review it was a review title i guess the column name okay so we can explain uh, save this as a review word all right so data frame review word uh review words all right so and let's have a look at our uh, review words column dot add no let's have a maybe 20 values yes so we can now see that uh, we just grab all of the uh, uh, all of the all of those words which basically make sense all right we good uh remy pro go review use one week uh we cleaned our like strings in a way that uh it uh, no longer has the doors and all of these stuffs all right so basically um uh, you learned something from this like how we can go for it if we don't know how to do these things i really uh like uh like i i didn't prepare uh before this video like how i will deal this i am like seeing this data set uh, maybe for the second time when i started recording this all right so basically now we something uh, clean our data set but it's uh, it's need more processing here but this is not related to the strings manipulation all right so so let's move jump on to the next uh data frame column here so let's have a look at our data set head so here we have a review words column here all right words and we have a review title column here all right so here we can see that we have very small size mobile here and very small size mobile full display basically it extracted all of the uh what you say all of the meaningful names value money value money worth money 
worth money so if we like uh, look at our tail here we can see that it extracted our our um, the meaningful meaningful words ok phone redmi remi no work however uh, it, it was a solution for the uh, from the what do you say chat gpt there are many other great solutions and uh, basically there are proper videos on these uh, basically this is a natural language processing nlp and this is a very separate topic so okay so now let's move on to the next uh, cell here and which is a customer name okay so now we can also drop this one for now just uh, like consist this column here because it's almost clean all right but what we can now do is like we can drop this column and we can like uh, take this column and then rename this column to this one here so but now um, uh, no no need for this because we don't want to I don't want to remove this because you can see here uh, in this case not worth for the price but here we are saying worth price so basically it's a 180 degree opposite so uh, basically this is not uh, accurate we just did on it so um, so just let's keep this here now next move let's let's move on to the next column here now let's something uh, explore this column uh, let's call this customer name let's get the customer name and uh, let's have a look at a unique values all right okay so we have a unique values here let's have a check if there if if there are any na values in these columns dot any no there are no any values none values here now let's have a look at our unique values uh, here we can see that we have a doors all right uh, something like we have a question marks something uh, so we have a doors question mark you can also see that uh, we have a space and uh, like unnecessary space here and um, we have a doors here uh, we have a question marks and uh, spaces word spaces these doors and uh, okay so uh, we can clean this by using the strip function and we will we will pass the doors but um, it would basically what it would does it would remove all the doors because uh, we don't want to remove the door from here and here and here all right we just want to remove these doors here so what we can do here is we can do maybe apply function here to remove these specific values so let's maybe try this all right so we need to clean this mm. so first of all let's strip this column so let's remove the white spaces from this column quickly uh, passing the customer name sorry passing the customer name here and uh, then just apply dot script function here all right and let's assign back to the customer name here all right now let's have a look at unique values again it has a unique why <coughs> okay sorry sorry we need to call this function on the column not on the whole data frame so now we don't have any white spaces all right so we cleaned it so basically let's um, ask ChatGPT what he says um, I want to clean okay so data set basically we have we have a customer name all right I have a customer name column in pandas data frame and I want to clean this uh, there are some time doors and uh, some times uh, 
what do you say spaces or whatever how can I clean this so let's try this maybe we find something cool answer from chat GPT to clean a customer name column in the panda directory and add contains where stribo punctuation spaces or other unwanted spaces you can use string manipulation techniques um, just okay okay now he's saying something amazing apply John dot what it's doing here is basically it's removing all of these so we can also do that here but we don't want to um, remove any known for numeric character it's okay we can also um, so basically it replacing space and then okay okay so let's try some regex here okay okay so here we can apply regex here um, data frame dot str dot so just replace uh, replace we want to replace so here I'm going to apply a regex so if you like uh, don't know regex uh, I have amazing video on this you can find in my youtube channel so we I'm going to list here the I'm going to replace question marks okay so I am going to replace everything except except um, except word characters all right so basically word characters include small a to z capital a to z and 0 to 9 and it also includes the underscore because words includes underscores so it includes that but here we like don't care about the underscores because we don't have any underscores here so just go for it and yes I want to replace everything other than word characters with the empty string and let's pass this rejects to let's pass this rejects to true all right yes we can now see that it cleaned but we need to also we we'll also need to like I want also want spaces so I need to mention here I can also do this here um, no not this here I need to maybe I can give the space here and uh, it just not replacing the scale space all right so we can also give a minus uh, slash backslash s so whatever you can give here all right so now let's have a check first of all at a unique values of this so let's check before assigning this back to our column now it's looking nice i think um you can see here that we cleaned all our um unnecessary and uh, something like that data you can see now it's looking good all right so now let's pass this to our customer name column and uh, here we go now let's have a look at our data frame head now we clean two columns review title customer name columns now the now the number is rating now the next column is rating column let's first of all let's have a look at our rating column here um let's have a look at head no maybe at unique values so so basically we have only five unique values in here all right and we can see that in this column we have repeated uh words and this is unnecessary as always we know like yes there is obviously out of five stars all right so i'm going to remove this from every uh data point for instance or instance you can say so let's uh, grab this rating column here and what I'm going to do is I am uh, applying um, replace function here here I'm going to give the give a regex maybe yes I am going to give a regex no uh, I'm going to give a regex here and um, Sorry for this. My mom just came and she was just 
like try to say something okay so whatever so i am going to say here because we don't need to say something here uh, no sorry uh, we don't need to use rejects here because it's very simple we just need to um, write this here because it's very common in here all right and we just replace this with empty string and here i will say uh no here we i don't need to say rejects is true rejects is equal to true because we are not using it right so let's have a look at this now let's have a look at our unique values we successfully you can see here that we successfully cleaned our columns and we also don't need we also don't need you can see here that this column is a, a string so we are now just need to convert this to number column or uh, int 64 or maybe float uh, int 64 because the number would be in integer not in floating point so we will convert this to int 64 so um str dot replace okay so now let's assign back to our data frame rating column here and now let's have a look at our head all right so now we need to convert this column column data type to integer in 64 so now let's convert this data type column let's create a rating column here and uh, convert this to as maybe the, yes as there's a type function and here i will say int 64 invalid for int with base 10 okay so basically here we have a what do you say floating point so it's that's why not converting this to int maybe type uh, try float 64 if i load it float 64 okay it worked with that um, let's have a look at a unique values now we can see that we don't have any um what do you say commas here so we can see that it's a float 64 column now so let's assign back to df rating here all right let's have a look at our data frame head now we have a nicer columns till uh, till here and now we have a date now let's have a first of all let's have a look at our uh category column c a t c a t e g r category and let's have a look at our unique values so basically we have display others camera battery delivery so we have a five values here and it's a cleaner column we don't need to do any uh like we don't need to do any clean stuff here so let's jump on to the next column here and that's a comments column now let's move on to the next column so first of all let's check what are the unique values here we can see okay first of all check if we have some null values here is na sorry is na all right dot any no we don't have any none values here all right so first of all so now check our unique values here so basically we need to clean something we need to remove this minus slash minus n here and uh, maybe is, is there anything to clean um do we need to clean this yes we need to clean this all right and um, we need to clean this so basically we can do we can apply rejects here as we just did for the maybe for this column here yes we applied this maybe for the rating column all right no not for the rating column we applied that for the what was the column um i don't know where that code go yes here so it was a basically customer norm it was it was for our customer name column so here we can see that we have a lot of values and we just 
want to get our um but words here all right and uh, and we don't want anything else all right so so let's so basically let's keep only words and spaces and doors all right basically doors are very helpful and we can see here that we have lots of stuff like we don't also want this don't want this thing here so okay so now let's move okay so i got some idea from by looking at this now let's print that uh commands column here in the commands i want to plus string and i want to replace i want to replace everything else word characters spaces we know we don't need to just specify the digits here because it comes in the uh this one here this special character here and is there anything i want to keep is there anything i want to keep let me check let me check uh let me check let me check no i don't think so i don't think so okay so now let's move forward with this so we just want to keep my uh, any word characters any spaces yes dots dots are important because uh it breaks it basically breaks the sentences and i am not seeing any dots as a roughly yes i am seeing dots here so 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 just get rid of this it's all right yes so maybe we can do this something later something exciting so just let's keep the dot here and uh, replace other with the empty string which is empty of course regex is equal to true now let's have a look at our comments column here and let's have a look at our unique values again now we can see that uh, we have uh, all right sorry 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 we need to like clean this here because we need to mention here because it's taking this as a character word characters here so first of all okay so first of all let me copy and paste this code here first of all i am going to say that remove this here with the empty string this is not on regex now all right so now uh and assign this back to so first of all let's have a look at our unique values now we can see that we now get uh, rid of the uh backslash n now let's assign back to the comments column now let what okay okay all right sorry sorry we need to remove this unique function here now let's add the cell between these two cells have a look at our head add not head maybe i want to look at our this specific column let's have a look at our unique values here we have unique values now i want to remove everything uh else uh, except sorry except uh, word characters and spaces and dots all right now let's try this all right so we can now see that i got i regret it of now the data is very clean and and we can see that now now it's looking very good and clean yes now before you can see here that we have a lot of like these question marks and uh, these uh dashes or maybe minus sign something like that all right now the data is very good now we can see that now we don't have something like that all right so what we are now going to do is um, we need to like remove every dots maybe which are like in sequences all right so basically if there is only one dot we will not remove that if there are like couple of dots together so we will remove that so first of all let's 
Mm, okay, so let's resign this. First of all, let's resign this back to our uh, data frame. Mem, sorry, to our data frame comments column. So let's have a look at our head. Sorry, not head. I always do something like this. Let's have a look at our unique values. All right. So now this is a ish. Now this is good. Now we want to remove these continuous doors because I don't like that and it and it's and it's good to remove this. So so what we can do here is we can uh, uh, I can apply a str dot replace. Okay, so here what I am going to say is I want to replace. dot but okay so dot is a special character in regex all right because the dot means it includes everything so i want to say one i need to escape this escape the dot here then i can say here that okay so basically let's put into the brackets here and i just can put here this here so basically it's mean that um i want to match every doors which has the occurrence of one time or more than one time all right so basically we want occurrence more than one time right so plus here means that it would also take this as a one time and i don't want that i want if there is one time occurrence of this I don't want to remove this. If there are more than occurrences of one times, then I want to remove this. We can also apply this here. Maybe the minimum time the occurrence is if it is two time and for the maximum time like it's if it is 900 times because we can see that there are no doors here which has occurrence of 900 times um, like uh, together okay so let's try this now and let's uh, let's like replace that with this empty string and i'm going to tell that of uh, pandas here that it's a rejects so now let's check this and let's have a like quite unique values and we can see here that if we have any dots now let's check no we don't have any doors here here we can see that we in the end before we have a doors with the include now we can see that we have no dot something like that and we still have a dot for our customer for our sentence here all right so basically we cleaned our comments here so congratulations so basically now i'm going to assign back to our comments column here all right so we did this and don't forget to remove unique this because we don't want to store unique otherwise it would throw us an error we want to uh, store our comments of course now fine let's have a look at our data frame head now we can see that we have a nicer data frame till here till the comments column now it's now it's uh now it's now we would look into our useful column so let's grab our useful column first then let's check if there is any n a values yes there is n a values here and also we can also check with info like in order to know how many n a values are there sorry Mm, we can also apply to that like we have now useful where is the useful use okay so basically there are there are a lot of n values here all right so what we can do here is um okay so now i'm basically sorry for this i'm very tight okay no problem so basically first of all look at this visual column 
uh, here maybe in data frame look at our useful column unique values and here we have unique values we can see that we have found people found this helpful every time and this is useless right 0% found this helpful and I don't know why there is any with 0 and we need to clean this first of all and uh, here we have a none value so always remember that so now let's clean this column then let's have basically str dot replace first of all replace this for all from all of this with empty string here what just happened useful column to string to replace um let's have a look at our unique values uni unique all right so one person found this helpful and no basically i want to check why it's saying any any values before it was saying that or something else okay so basically we have an n values that's why it's saying n values okay no problem so um, let's i want to how we can find uh find the number of um, n values in pandas reframe column is any or n null so basically it okay so we need to apply some function so it would tell us like how many we have so basically is n a dot sum okay so we have a 209 here and before but let's see how many we have okay so basically we are not adding any none values because sometimes uh, the none values adds to the column okay so basically this operation is successful and let's now jump back to our previous code here uh, okay so here we have a none values now what we can see here now let's have a look at our unique values again here we can see that we have zero one per we need to remove this also all right so first of all let's uh sorry so first of all let's uh reassign this back and let's copy this here and let's remove this all right now what we can do here is we can uh grab the column here and i can apply st r dot replace here i can give this one here i can see i can say that replace this with empty string now let's have a look again now let's have a look at unique values okay now we don't have something like this all right so it's cool it's amazing okay so we have remember we have anon values here too all right we just uh, this is a non value we entered uh, while like uh, when we are importing our database from here all right so we are specified that take spaces empty spaces uh, if there is just a space uh, as a data value in our column take that as an a value so that's why it took that as an a value here so now what we can do here is we can basically first of all get rid of this and here we can uh none values here okay so we would uh see this later because there are uh, there is many and n values so let's reassign back to this um now let's have a look at our column uh, sorry data frame so now we have a nicer uh data tell useful column here and we almost did everything uh -huh because we generated this column so we don't need to 
clean this layer if it's already cleaned so now this useful column is left we have many any values here we can see here if i apply an info function on our data frame we can see here that i have like i have only nonal values and that is 71 nonal values and other than that i have maybe what i have maybe 190 or something like that all right so how we can deal with this so basically client can say you like give me a data set which um, basically founded this no basically it, it's not like that okay so so maybe uh, basically this column says how many people found this as a what you say uh, useful all right I think yes it's something like that something like that all right and uh, for now we can like uh, clean our data set with what we can do here is for now we can use our grab our useful column here and um, we can what like i can say no no need to grab this i can say fill and values with this empty string and maybe i need to say in place so that in place is equal to true all right now let's have a look at our data frame head okay now it's a clean column now it's a clean column right okay okay now it's a clean column yes so so that's it for for this video because we can do uh, almost uh, many other techniques here but for now there is no time to do these because the video is almost and now is like very lengthy so just skip for now and uh, other than that the data set is very clean so that's all for this video today i hope you like this video you liked what i did like i am use i used the chat gpt and google and stack overflow answers because if you are a data scientist or whatever you always need to use internet whether it's it's not depend like if you are a beginner or advanced developer or whatever all right so i hope you learned something new from this from this video here if you like this video just like hit the like button do comment and subscribe all right bye bye i will look you guys uh into my next video bye bye